In a mobile environment where large files need to be offloaded, cellular data usage needs to be optimized, traffic steering rules can be configured to route the video traffic over one WAND, while the rest of the traffic is run out a different WAND. In this case, we're going to use cellular and Wi-Fi as WAN connections. Start by logging into the Net Cloud Administration page as shown here. We'll start by configuring the Wi-Fi radios. Navigate to Networking, Local Networks, Wi-Fi radio number 1, 2.4 GHz. Disable the wireless radio here. A warning will appear. Click Yes, followed by OK. If needed, go to Wi-Fi radio number 2, 5 GHz and configure the Wi-Fi settings as needed for local access. Next, we're going to configure our Wi-Fi as WAN connection to connect to our office network for video offload. Navigate to Networking, Wi-Fi as WAN or Client and select Wi-Fi radio number 2, 5 GHz. Set radio settings to Wi-Fi as WAN and click the Save button. Then click OK. Select the correct Wi-Fi network in the Site Service section, then select Import. Enter the correct credentials. Click Save, followed by OK. At this time, we will configure our WAN connection priorities. Navigate to Connection Manager on the left, locate the Wi-Fi as WAN connection and make it the highest priority WAN by dragging it to the top of the list. Now we need to ensure both connections are active simultaneously. Look to the Wi-Fi as WAN profile and find the second gear icon to the right. This is the connection state. Once the editor window opens, set this to Always On and click Save. Then click OK. Locate the cellular connection next and do the same. Set the connection state to Always On and click Save. Then click OK. Lastly, we'll configure the traffic steering rules. Navigate to Networking, Routing, Traffic Steering. Click the button to add a new rule and the Rule Editor window will open. Name the rule Video Offload in the Destination IP Network field, set the Video Offload Destination Server Network. Move to the Target tab next, set the WAN binding type to the Wi-Fi as WAN UID. Deselect Failover. Click Save, and then OK. Now we'll repeat this process for the rest of our internet traffic. Click Add Rule and name it Internet. In the Destination IP Network field, enter the Video Offload Destination Server Network. Select the checkbox in Destination Negate. On the Target tab, set the WAN binding type to the LTE UID. Deselect Failover. Click Save, and then OK. If we move back to the Connection Manager page, we can see that both our Wi-Fi as WAN and cellular connections are established and showing affinity next to their connection states. This confirms that both are active and traffic is ready to be routed over the appropriate connections. Our configuration is completed, so you may start using your router as needed. Just remember, the cradle point must be within Wi-Fi range to the Wi-Fi as WAN connection in order for the connection to be established. Once the connection is established, any pending video offload should start running. We hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe for more videos like this.